draw is concerned, you can see that uh, Chris and Gabby Adcock coming through against the Indonesian pair, Ronald Alexander and uh, Milati Oktaviani. Very close opening game, as you can see. They were 14-4 up, incidentally, in that first game and then ended up having to save two game points. It was the most extraordinary game number one. But here they are. They'll have all the home support. Hugely <coughs> popular. Badminton players here in Great Britain. And of course, caused a sensation by winning the Super Series finals in Dubai last December. Red. Red for them. So the Koreans have been playing together for exactly a year and a week. A partnership at the German Grand Prix Gold last year. Gabriel, sir. As far as the Koreans are concerned, well, Sung Chan has been in one quarter final previously at the All England. She's trying to make it a second uh, because last year, I do think it was two years ago, a 21 year old reached the quarter final of the women's doubles with Lee So He. Two time world. Junior champion in the women's doubles and with that same partner, Lee Sohi, but they've now uh, been split up. But as far as her mixed doubles is concerned, in this past year, they won the World University Games. That wasn't a, a ranking tournament, but it really did give them confidence, and I thought that it really made a difference when it came to Super Series and Grand Prix Gold events. 25-year-old. Kim Chi Jung from Dang Lee. He has enjoyed success here at New Orleans in the men's doubles with Kim Saran, a couple of quarterfinals for them. But this, their second appearance as a pair in the mixed doubles discipline. So to Gabby Adcock, 25 years of age, uh, born in Leeds now living in Milton Keynes with her husband, of course. And they're number seven in the world ranking at the moment. They have been as high as five, exactly 52 consecutive weeks as a number five in the world ranking. And then another couple more weeks in March last year. So her husband, 26 at the moment, but he'll turn 27 next month, Chris Adcock. Left-hander, and of course they won the Commonwealth Games gold medal of 2014 in Glasgow. Two finals last year, not only winning those Super Series finals, but also reached the final of the Bitburger Grand Prix gold. So this will be just the second meeting between these two pairs, the first meeting was in the quarter-final of the Koreans' very first international competition together, the German Grand Prix gold last year. Three games it was on that occasion. So, this is going to be a tough match for the English pair. Diraj Gunadre of Mauritius, Arampa, and Iris Matsbalu of Estonia. Ask uh, this judge. Well, the hopes and expectations of the home fans very much with Chris and Gabby Adcock. Last home winners of the All England title in any discipline was 2005. When, of course, Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems lifted the trophy. Sorry, Steve, that's a bit of a sore subject with you, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Lee Bonchon and Jewel in the final. And you were coaching? Actually, no, I wasn't. 
and on my left, Chris Adcock and Gabriel Adcock, England. Gabriel Adcock to serve to Shin Chan Chan. Love all. So the number seven seeds from England getting this second round match underway. And the quick serve is long now. So this is over. We need to keep One. an eye on Love. how many low serves she hits. I was watching their match yesterday. I don't know with whether you had an opportunity to watch as well, Steen, but the vast majority of her serves are flicks nowadays and she's got a wonderful flick serve there's nothing against that but you do need to vary it now oh, that's well worked very well worked again one of these interesting so matches over. that are one. sort of a reality Four. check on what we saw in the super series final of course it's a big event but um it's also at the end of the year in an olympic year players play numbers of tournaments and so is it a correct picture and uh, that's, that's going to be really interesting to see how they fare here on uh, on home soil uh, Chris and uh, Gabby Atcock and there's a there's a, a sign that it's, it's going in the right direction because as we get more and more tournaments played the race to real ranking sort of is reflecting the um, more recent strength and they're number five on that uh, ranking list so the uh, arrow is pointing upwards for them yeah and i think there's a very good reason for that because i think both the english players are playing very well at the moment i think gabby has improved considerably in the way she reads the front court situation the way she finishes from the front court yeah. I think her defence has improved as well. Definitely. And as far as Chris is concerned, well, he's always had wonderful touch, hasn't he? And he, the way he takes the shuttle in the mid-court area is so impressive. And, of course, they gained so much confidence from that win in Dubai. Exactly. And, and, and I don't think you can underestimate what that means to win one of those big events. When you are, you're working hard for a long time, you're struggling from time to time, and then suddenly you hit the jackpot. Yeah, and, and uh, not not in terms of, of uh, winning money, but in terms of winning big prestigious events, and I think that sort of uh, uh, yeah puts fuel on on the fire. Yeah, and uh, I also would like to point out that I think Gabby uh, has uh, become stronger, physically stronger. Yep, and that sort of um, perhaps is the. Um, and the reason why her defense is, is um, better now. Hey! He's a talented individual, is this young man. Service over two, Kim Chi six. Uh, Korea got five pairs um, that can play on a, on a super serious level, but um, mm. only one that's really outstanding. And they've just lost earlier today. They do. Go Sun Kyo, Kim Han Ah. to Wang Yu, Tang Jinhua of China. Yeah. I think they're only that young Chinese pair only playing their third tournament together. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Brilliant. And there's not a whole lot of uh, female mixed doubles players who 
have that read apart from the very best Chinese girls. That ability to, to read the game. Service over. Four. Ten. there from his uh, backhand corner to his forehand that one yeah great disguise it went down so steeply didn't it and the other one he poked mid yeah because of the rally we won with so many lifts i think they're going to do that yeah so make sure we step up yeah. and you start seeing if you can read it okay it's really good really Peter Jeffrey, the English coach. Yep, not too much information there. No. Doing really good. Yeah, I like that. Seconds. Also, um, with his pair is leading 11 4, so trying to anticipate what could the others be talking about. Um, there was one specific rally. I didn't really understand what exactly he was talking about. He said, I think they're trying to do more of that. Yeah, it's something about lifting. Something about lifting, yeah. Please. I think uh, the English pair won it, but, but the Koreans have lifted quite a bit. Isn't it? There just doesn't seem to be any gaps at the moment with the Four. English pair. Gaps is at net. And she's doing well. Mm. Yeah, there's the angles. Drop shot again. And then the disguise. Brilliant. It all starts from the 14, long backhand corner. Very, very good position from Chris Atkirk. And there, from there on, he creates his own opportunity. And it's really, really hard to defend for the opponents. Yeah, it's a good return of serve. And this is where the, where the Korean chance is. I mean, try to take control of the rally in the service situation. Uh, do not let uh, Chris and Gabby get this um, position that they want to. Uh, excellent there by Gabby. She's like the lightning. 75. You're right, Jill. You said she's become better at putting it away at the net, and I uh, totally agree. Yeah. Oh, that one's gone just long. Service over, 6, 17. There's the half arm to two there from Chris. It was a funny story. Had that done, I think, just before the Super Series finals, and he hadn't told his mum. And, of course, he wore a shirt like this, and his mother was a little bit surprised to see it. Yeah. Hey! Seven, 
17. English Lion, the Rose of England. And there's a picture of his Commonwealth Games gold medal on there as well. Way long, way, way long. Service over 18, 7. Good rally, and it was a nice Service idea to eight. take the pace off again. Yeah. And there was this kind of pressure from the Koreans that I've sort of uh, asked for. Here it is again. It's not the correct position. There's opportunities. For the Koreans, it's about getting some kind of idea on what can we do in the second game. Naturally, the opposite for the English, close it as quick as possible, get on to the second game with a lot of confidence. That's ah! perfect placement of the smash. Time is over, 19. So many opportunities there, and can also hit it to the outer side of uh, Shin. He has to cover the inside, but that leaves the outside open also. Service over, 10, 19. That's so good, isn't it? Very alert. Yeah, nice way to bring up a game points opportunities. Game point, 10. Service over, 11, 20. Opportunity is converted. First game won by Chris Adcock, Gabriel Adcock, 21-12. Little over 13 minutes, that's extraordinary, isn't it? Total dominance in game number one by Mr. and Mrs. Adcock. Rally there where we just missed the brush off, just the right point. So you get up in the middle and then you play the side. We're going to win our fair share. So that's if we just stick to that and just keep doing that. Yeah. I think he's playing that mid because he wants you to go so they can counter. Yeah. yeah. When they, if we keep blocking, they'll creep in more and then we just one or two yeah. over her. Yeah. And we just keep sticking to what we're doing. Okay? Yeah. Okay, reset, level. Act like it's the first game. You're going to impose yourself all over again. Yeah? And just take their belief away, okay? Good stuff, guys. Come on. Yeah, I like that coaching from Peter Jeffrey. Stick to what they've done. So far, and a little bit of um, what 
they should be aware of if um, they continue to block it, the Koreans. As far as I understood it. I don't remember, Steen. Did Gabby hit a low serve in that opening game, or were they all flicks? Oh, I, I, I didn't pay attention to that. She was folded once, but I think she flicked immediately after again. Second game, love all, play. She's been playing well in this match, and uh, that made Kim feel that he needs to put it really, really close, otherwise it would have been killed. Hey! Oh yes, that's nice. That's clever. Service oh, over. Chan. Two. All. She knows she's got to try and challenge Gabby Adcock at the front of the court. And I think uh, the Koreans also know that they've got to try and attack more because really in that opening game, the English combination were allowed to dictate the pace. Yeah. on this part of uh, the, on this side of the court so for Kathleen Jin Korean coach <laughs> oh, there he is he was all England champion in 1997 in the men's doubles with Ha Tai Kwan beating the Danish pair Thanks for mentioning once again, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Sogar, Joan Horst Christensen in the final. The one thing I don't un understand about um, the opponents that play Chris and Gabby Adcock is the female player still stands at the service line. Why don't they move back yeah. and see what happens? Because the majority of the time she uses the flick. She uses the flick and, and, and tries to force it to serve a short service. Maybe it goes in the middle of the net. Who knows? 
if you flex, you're in a much better position. Big cover, so. Yaka Poi, another coach on the England bench. Play. Yeah, in fact, Yaka Poi is the head coach, isn't he? Well, that's what Peter Jeffrey works with this mixed doubles pair on a regular basis, well, as I say, as well. And Chris Hadcock. Lovely touch, we talked about that earlier, didn't we? He's got the power, but he's also got the, that touch as well. Therefore, you just don't know. Oh my goodness, well, that was powerful, but that was putting it politely. Eight, wayward. Seven. Yeah, that was a shocker. in a row for quality shots just extending the advantage with every shot decided he needed to play it. Over, nine, eight. Oh, behind the back. Oh, he really had everything. That was the one. Oh, I suspect that's the longest of the match so far. Long, so to the mid-game interval. Eleven, nine, English pair with a two-point advantage on a run of three straight points. Doing really well with the blocking, blocking in the test of the width in the game. Yeah. Just saying to Chris, I want that overview thing that I wrote down. Yeah. yeah. Just because they're stepping up and hustling us more, we don't go away from what we know about us. Yeah. Keep taking the pace off in front of them until they fully commit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I'll get tempted from here. And uh, give it a spin. Yeah. When he's um, Paternity's body's not like it's twice we've got in part of the yeah, so because yeah. it got quite a tight service had to go. Four, two, one, wait, wait, seconds. Seconds. So that's working quite Four, a lot. One, two, three, three, it's calm, reassuring coaching, isn't it, from Peter Jeffrey? Yeah, it is. I mean, let's not go away from what we know works and uh, keep blocking it in front of them and so on. So, always very calm. 11, 9, play. Goodness me, what a return of serve. Yeah. Serve is over. 10, 11. in there. Eleven all. Yeah, she didn't panic when she's been kept no, to the back no, of the court no. at all, did she? Look at that angle. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Two fast forward Chris Atkins there in the end of that rally. Oh, that's got to be the longest run of the match so far, hasn't it? Oh yes, that is lovely. What great disguise from Shinsu Chan. significant for the Korean mixed doubles that they have, all the female players they have trouble winning the battle of the net. Oh, another one round the back. First one worked, second one didn't. told it's too late I would have challenged straight away that looked yeah. as if it might well have been long but the umpire says no you waited too long and he's quite right challenge must be immediate there was a short service yeah Side too short over. yeah 30 40 they stopped the bleeding the Koreans That, I like the uh, powerful Sorry, shot from Chris Atkins there. I felt that the last couple of times we've had the opportunity, he's been a little bit too patient. Too many shots in a row. Three 
quick points to yeah. the English side, and then it's more or less decided. Unless uh, they can stage a comeback. 14. Koreans. 17. It's a good return of serve. Nice little angle. Just because that was exactly what uh, Pete Jeffrey told them. Yeah. Block it in front of them. to bring up match point opportunities. Service over, 20. Match point, 16. <laughs> Yeah, through to the quarter-final for a third consecutive year. Chris and Gabby Adcock, and they did it in fine style. 21-12, 21-16. the match just under 32 minutes. Match won by Chris Adcock, Gabriel Adcock, 21-12, 21-16. Well, they should be very happy about that performance. Slight lapse in concentration this second set. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Went a bit too soft on the drops, I think. Coming in yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's interesting, isn't it? Still talking about how they could have done better. Yeah, that's what it's, uh, it's such a successful mixed doubles combination. Never satisfied with their performance the home fans i can tell you are very much satisfied uh, because there'll be english representation in the quarterfinals tomorrow
Well, they were superb today, weren't they? And yeah, huge stars here in Babington world. And this is asked to sign the autographs, which they duly do. That's always good to see. Interaction with the fans. Both Chris and Gabby taking times. Yeah, a little selfie as well. Well, as far as our results today, only one match going the full distance. That was the second one. That was the men's singles with a five-time former champion, Lindan, coming from a game down to beat Sho Sazaki. The two women's singles, well, they went with uh, the seeded player, Ratchanuk Intanon, the number six seed and the former world champion. She's been a finalist here three years ago. That was pretty comfortable against Yamaguchi, 9 and 13 in just 34 minutes. Sina Nawal, well, we wondered what her form would be. Her first tournament of 2016, and her form was good. 21-16, 29-21-9 against Busanan Ongbangarangpan. Well, the European champions uh, defeated the seeded combination, Mads Conrad and Mads uh, Colling. So that really the only upset of the day in a repeat of that European Championship final from two years ago. And as we've just seen in the mixed doubles, well, Chris and Gabby Adcock have pleased the home fans and guaranteed home involvement on quarterfinals a day because they've beaten Kim and Shin in two straight games. Well, of course, there'll be quarterfinal action uh, tomorrow will be a little bit later tomorrow. It's four o'clock local time. Of course, we started at 12 o'clock today. So four hours later tomorrow, and there's plenty of action, I can tell you. When I'm looking at the draw right now, and I'm thinking about some of the mouth-watering prospects for tomorrow's quarterfinals day, it is a day that shouldn't be missed. Of course, Steve Peterson and myself, Jill Clark, will be here tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.